Welcome to our YouTube channel Dream Dynamic. Imagine a life where your inner calm becomes unbreakable. Where the chaos of the world can't disturb your sense of peace. No matter what challenges or negativity come your way, you remain centered, calm, and unshaken. Sounds empowering, right? Today, we're exploring seven powerful Zen teachings that can help you build this unshakable inner strength. As one wise saying goes, true peace lies within once you find it. Nothing outside can take it away. If you're ready to discover the secrets to lasting tranquility, let's begin this journey together. Number one. Transform stress with mindful breathing. When stress starts to creep in, there's one simple tool you can use to regain your calm, your breath. Mindful breathing is a powerful way to re-transform stress into peace, helping you find your center when life feels overwhelming. It's a practice that has been used for centuries to cultivate calm, clarity, and a sense of inner strength. The next time stress builds, try this. Pause and take a slow, deep breath as you inhale. Imagine drawing in calm and clarity, filling your lungs with a sense of ease. As you exhale, visualize releasing all the tension and worry trapped in your mind and body. This mindful breathing isn't just about calming the body. It's about grounding your mind. When stress hits, your thoughts can spiral, racing through worries and creating a storm of emotions. You might find yourself snapping at others, making hasty decisions or feeling overwhelmed. But by focusing on each breath, you create a moment of stillness, a gap between the trigger and your response. This small pause gives you space to observe your thoughts and feelings without being swept away by them. It's a powerful way to regain control and respond with intention rather than reacting out of emotion. A wise saying goes, With each breath, I calm my heart. With each exhale, I let go. It serves as a reminder that the act of breathing can be a gentle reset button, shifting you from a state of tension to one of peace. With consistent practice, Mindful breathing can even help rewire your response to stress, making you more resilient over time. You'll find yourself less affected by everyday pressures and more able to navigate challenges with a clear mind. So, the next time stress threatens to take over, remember, just breathe. It's a small action, but it can transform the way you handle whatever comes your way. With every breath, you can find a moment of calm. A moment of could change the entire course of your day. Number two. Reframe negativity into growth. We all face negative thoughts from time to time, but it's how we deal with them that truly shapes our mindset. In Zen philosophy, there's a powerful practice called a rate of transform negativity into growth and turn challenges into opportunities. Instead of letting discouraging thoughts spiral out of control, you can learn to see things through a more positive lens. It's not about ignoring difficulties, but rather finding the hidden lesson within them. For example, when something goes wrong, instead of thinking, this is awful. Try asking yourself, what can I learn from this? Or how can this challenge help me grow? 
This shift in perspective allows you to train your mind to see obstacles as stepping stones rather than roadblocks. It's like looking for the silver lining in every storm cloud, knowing that behind every struggle, there's a chance to become stronger and wiser. As Zen wisdom reminds us, we are shaped by our thoughts. We become what we think. Your mind is like a garden. If you plant seeds of positivity and hope, those thoughts will grow, creating a life filled with peace and resilience. But if you allow negativity to take root, it can cloud your vision, making it hard to find joy and clarity. So, the next time a negative thought pops up, don't let it drag you down. Instead, pause, acknowledge it, and gently guide your mind toward a more positive outlook. With practice, you can transform negativity into growth, reshaping how you see the world and helping you stay grounded and optimistic no matter what challenges life throws your way. Number three, finding calm in chaos. Life is full of chaos. Whether it's the pressures at work, personal challenges, or conflicts with others, if we allow every little thing to affect us emotionally, it can feel like we're constantly being pulled in all directions, losing our sense of inner peace. That's where the Zen philosophy of emotional detachment comes in. Emotional detachment doesn't mean becoming cold or indifferent. It's about learning to observe your emotions without letting them control you. When stressful situations arise, it's easy to get swept away by frustration, anger, or sadness. However, by practicing emotional detachment, you can take a step back and notice those feelings without getting entangled in them. This allows you to remain calm and centered even amid chaos. Imagine your emotions as waves crashing on a shore. Emotional detachment acts like an anchor, helping you stay grounded rather than being tossed around by every wave. You can observe each wave of emotion acknowledging its presence, but you don't have to let it sweep you away. A wise Zen master once said, attachment is the root of suffering. When we cling too tightly to our emotions, we invite unnecessary turmoil into our lives. By learning to let go of that attachment, we free ourselves from the emotional roller coaster and cultivate lasting inner peace. The next time you feel a strong emotion, pause and take a deep breath. Remind yourself to simply observe the feeling. Ask yourself, is this emotion serving me or is it controlling me? This small practice can help you remain calm and prevent chaos from taking over your life, allowing you to navigate challenges with clarity and grace. Life is full of challenges, but the way we perceive them can make all the difference. In Zen philosophy, we learn to airframe challenges, viewing them not as burdens, but as opportunities for growth. Difficulties are an inevitable part of life, and trying to avoid them only leads to more suffering. Instead, by shifting your perspective, you can transform obstacles into stepping stones on your journey. Imagine a challenge as a heavy rock. If you carry it on your back and see it solely as a burden, it will weigh you down and crush your spirit. However, if you choose to view that rock as a tool for building strength, it becomes an opportunity to grow more resilient. A wise Zen master illustrates this concept with the saying, in the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins. Not through strength, but by perseverance. Like water, you can navigate around or over challenges with persistence, flowing gracefully through life's difficulties instead of fighting against them. When faced with a challenge, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? Or how can this help me grow? This simple shift in mindset transforms difficulties into valuable teachers, helping you stay calm 
and positive, even in tough times. Without this perspective, challenges can feel overwhelming and can easily crush your spirit. Remember, growth often emerges from life's toughest moments. By reframing your challenges, you can approach them with a sense of purpose and strength. Rather than fear and frustration, embrace the lessons they offer and watch how you can turn struggles into stepping stones toward a brighter future. Number 5. The Power of Letting Go One of the essential teachings in Zen philosophy is the art of letting go, particularly of things beyond our control. Much of our stress and suffering stem from attempting to grasp what we simply cannot influence. Other people's opinions, unexpected life events, other people's opinions or outcomes we can't predict. When we fixate on controlling the uncontrollable, we drain our energy and create unnecessary turmoil. True peace arises from accepting reality as it is and focusing only on what we can change. Think of it this way. Trying to hold tightly to sand in your hand only causes it to slip through your fingers. The more you grip, the more sand escapes. Similarly, the more you try to control what you can't, the more anxious and frustrated you become. Letting go doesn't mean surrendering. It means recognizing where your energy can make a difference and where it cannot. A wise Zen master once said, Let go of what's gone. Be grateful for what remains and look forward to what is coming. This reminds us to release our attachment to the past and to accept that some things are simply out of our reach. To start practicing this principle in your daily life, identify something that's been stressing you out. An argument with a friend, a challenge at work, or even something as minor as traffic. Ask yourself, can I change this situation? If the answer is no, it's time to let it go. This doesn't mean ignoring the issue. Instead, it's about choosing not to let it drain your energy. Focus on what you can control, such as your response to the situation. A powerful way to cultivate the practice of letting go is through mindfulness meditation. In meditation, we observe our thoughts without becoming attached to them. They may come and go, but we don't need to cling to them or allow them to dominate our emotions. This same principle applies to life. Observe what's happening around you, and if it's beyond your control, acknowledge it and let it pass. Another helpful mindset is acceptance. Acceptance doesn't mean you approve of or enjoy a challenging situation. It means you acknowledge reality as it is. Resisting reality only creates suffering, while acceptance creates space for peace, even in difficult times. Letting go brings immense freedom. It allows you to redirect your energy toward areas where you can truly make a difference, like improving yourself, supporting others, and making positive changes in your life. Holding on to things you cannot control is like carrying unnecessary baggage. Letting go lightens your load. Ultimately, letting go is about trust. Trusting that life will unfold as it's meant to, and that you have the strength to and that you have the strength to handle whatever comes your way. So, the next time you feel overwhelmed, stressed, or frustrated, take a deep breath and remind yourself, I can't control everything, and that's okay. Let go of what you can't change, and focus on where your true power lies. Number 6. The Power of Gratitude in a world often overshadowed by negativity, cultivating gratitude is a transformative practice that can profoundly shift your perspective. Instead of fixating on what's lacking or what's lacking or what's going wrong, gratitude invites you to recognize the beauty and abundance in every moment of your life. Zen philosophy teaches that gratitude goes beyond mere thankfulness. For obvious blessings, like health or relationships. It encourages us to appreciate every experience, even the challenging ones, 
as they hold valuable lessons, a wise Zen master once said, Let us rise up and be thankful. For if we didn't learn a lot today, at least we learned a little. This perspective reminds us that there's always something to be grateful for. Whether it's a moment of clarity, a small victory, or the warmth of a smile. When you actively practice gratitude, you redirect your focus from negativity to positivity. By acknowledging even the simplest joys. A warm cup of tea, a comfortable bed, or a kind word. You create a ripple effect of positivity that transforms your outlook. One practical way to cultivate gratitude is through a daily gratitude journal. Spend a few moments each day writing down three things you're grateful for. These can be as minor as enjoying a beautiful sunset or as significant as a supportive friend. Over time, this practice trains your mind to recognize abundance, shifting your focus from scarcity to appreciation. Expressing gratitude outwardly also enhances your well, also enhances your welling, and spreads positivity. Take the time to thank those who support you or appreciate the beauty around you. Whether it's the rustling leaves or the laughter of loved ones, gratitude in Zen wisdom is not just an internal sentiment. It's a practice meant to be shared. What about during tough times? This is where gratitude becomes truly powerful. Even in hardship, there's a lesson waiting to be uncovered. If work feels overwhelming, perhaps it's an opportunity to develop resilience or improve problem-solving skills. Remember, Life is impermanent. Challenges will pass. And by cultivating gratitude now, you can find calm amidst chaos. Mindfulness is key in this practice, allowing you to appreciate the small joys that often go unnoticed. When you live mindfully, every moment becomes an opportunity for gratitude, making it harder to succumb to negativity. In essence, embracing gratitude transforms your life into a rich tapestry of appreciation, making it a shield against the shadows of negativity. By shifting your focus to the positive, you cultivate a more fulfilling and peaceful existence. Number 7. Surround yourself with positivity. The people you surround yourself with profoundly influence your mood, mindset, an overall sense of peace. In Zen wisdom, it's often emphasized that we should be mindful of the company we keep, because the energy of those around us can either uplift us or drag us down. If you want to stay calm and positive in life, it's essential to surround yourself with positive energy and avoid the toxicity that some people bring. We all know individuals who drain our energy, those who constantly complain, spread negativity, or engage in harmful behaviors, these individuals can influence your emotions, sap your mental energy, and lower your self-esteem. Zen philosophy teaches that we need to protect our inner peace by setting boundaries with such people and consciously choosing to be around those who inspire, support, and uplift us. The influence of toxic relationships can harm us beyond the physical. They affect our mental and emotional well-being, leading us to feel drained, anxious, or even doubting our self-worth. But surrounding yourself with positive energy is about more than just avoiding toxic people. It's also about actively seeking those who bring joy, wisdom, and positivity into your life. These are the people who encourage your growth, help you see the bright side of things, and support you during tough times. One of the key practices in Zen philosophy is mindfulness, being fully aware of the present moment, including your environment and the people in it. Through mindfulness, you can become more aware of how certain individuals or situations affect your energy. After interacting with someone, take a moment to reflect. Do you feel energized, inspired, and uplifted? Or do you feel drained, anxious, or emotionally exhausted? This simple practice can help you identify which relationships are nourishing and which are toxic. 
It's important to note that avoiding toxic people doesn't always mean cutting them out of your life completely. Sometimes it's not possible to distance yourself from them, especially if they are family members, colleagues, or longtime friends. However, you can set healthy boundaries to limit their impact on your emotional well-being. Boundaries might mean limiting the time you spend with them, refusing to engage in negative conversations, or protecting your energy by not letting their negativity affect your mood. In addition to setting boundaries, nurture your relationships with those who bring positivity into your life. Spend more time with people who inspire you, encourage your growth, and bring out the best in you. When surrounded by this type of energy, it becomes much easier to stay calm, centered and positive, even in challenging situations. Another aspect of surrounding yourself with positive energy is being mindful of the environments you place yourself in. Toxic environments can be just as harmful as toxic people, whether it's a stressful workplace, a chaotic home, or even the digital spaces you engage with. Zen wisdom encourages us to create peaceful, harmonious environments that promote mindfulness and serenity. Lastly, remember that we also influence the energy around us. We have a responsibility to bring positivity into our relationships and environments. As the saying goes, be the energy you want to attract. When you cultivate positive energy within yourself through mindfulness, gratitude, and compassion, you'll naturally begin to attract people with similar energy into your life. Positive energy is contagious, and by radiating it, you'll protect your inner peace while creating a ripple effect that benefits those around you. Surrounding yourself with positive energy involves avoiding toxic individuals and actively seeking relationships that nourish your soul. By doing so, you'll create a life filled with peace, positivity, and calmness. As we wrap up our exploration of these seven principles for cultivating a positive and peaceful life, remember that the energy you invite into your world shapes your experiences by surrounding yourself with uplifting people, expressing gratitude, and nurturing meaningful connections, you not only enhance your own well-being, but also create a ripple effect that can inspire those around you. Take a moment today to reflect on your relationships and the environments you inhabit. Consider where you can let go of negativity and embrace the positivity that aligns with your true self. If you found value in these insights, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with anyone who might need a little extra positivity in their life. Let's continue this journey together. Leave a comment below sharing how you plan to cultivate positive energy in your own life. Thank you for watching. And remember, the path to peace begins with the choices we make. Every day, stay mindful. Stay grateful and let the light of positivity shine within you.